Hi and a very good evening to each and every one of you. Welcome to the North Goa Hawaii Forum. Yeah. Welcome to the North Goa Hawaii Forum weekly youth meeting. And thanks to each and every one of you for joining us at at this time. Uh we are hoping that more of us join in because uh, we're going to have a lovely praise and worship session here and we're going to have a lovely continuous reflection on the beatitudes. So uh before we start uh, let me introduce you to Lindsay Kino. Lindsay is not from the North Goa but she has uh, she I'm so glad that she's here with us she's all the way from the south uh, from um, from Kolam and we are really happy and blessed to have uh, Lindsay with us so welcome Lindsay and we are looking forward to your praise and worship but before that I would like and request each and every one of you wherever you are to pray for Lindsay you can pray in tongues you can lift your hands make a silent prayer or you can even make a silent prayer for lindsay but i'd encourage all those who have the gift of tongues to kindly put forward uh, your voices and pray for lindsay holy ya lord praise you father thank you jesus ya Thank you, Melanie. Let us begin by signing ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. As we gather here today to praise and to worship our God, our Abba Father, let us begin by thanking him for all the things he has done for us in our lives. Every day, we spend time to pray to our God to ask him to fulfill our needs, but seldom take the time to thank him for the so many blessings he has already given us. So now let us take these few moments to thank him in our own words. Abba Father, I thank you for this beautiful evening. I thank you for this beautiful day. Lord, I thank you for each person who has joined this meeting. And I thank you for their loved ones. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord. I bless your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, yes, Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Abba loving Father, I thank and praise you for my exams. I thank and praise you that my exams were successful. I thank and praise you for helping me finally complete my paper. I praise and I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for this entire uh, time that I've had. 
especially in this month of august it has been a very trying time but i praise you and i thank you lord with the love and support of my family wife who see here and even of my family at home and of course my heavenly family in heaven with you i thank and praise you i have you give me the strength to just carry on i thank and praise you for this immense grace of giving this month thank you lord praise you lord thank father praise you jesus thank you jesus lord hallelujah lord thank you father praise you father thank you lord is god wonderful almighty and glorious father we praise you and bless your holy name because you are a wonderful god a glorious god a merciful god and you are a loving god and you love us with an everlasting and unconditional love and for this love that you have for each one of us i want to praise you and thank you my god praise you and thank you glory to your lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord thank you jesus thank you father hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord praise you our father thank you holy spirit thank you father praise the lord thank you jesus thank you father thank you Lord, I want to thank and praise you for the gift of life that you have given me. Thank and praise you for all the things that you do into my life. Thank and praise you, Lord, for always helping me to be committed to you, no matter what and who comes into my way. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making me your ambassador. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, I want to thank you for this beautiful day that you've given me. Especially, I want to thank you for the past few weeks that have been really difficult. And I know there's a lot to get done, but thank you for being with me every day and guiding me through the day, helping me go through this entire process, and somehow making it really easy for me. Thank you for being there for me, for comforting me, and for guiding me. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now let us take this hymn thank you jesus for loving me thank you jesus thank you Thank you, Lord, for 
Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank 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 you, Thank you, Jesus. 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 In the Gospel of John, our Lord Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. And then again, our Lord says, I am the Good Shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. We have all seen that image where Jesus is holding a sheep. And as he looks at that sheep, he smiles and rejoices because his sheep was lost and now he has found his sheep. My dear friends, our God searches for us when we are lost. And when we are found, he rejoices because he loves us and there is nothing more powerful than the love of God. Let us sing this hymn, Shepherd of My Soul. Thank you. 
now let us welcome the holy spirit holy spirit you are welcome here come lord and fill us with your power fill us with your presence possess us lord lord come and fill us enlighten us make us new lord enlighten our minds touch each and every one of us lord we need you holy spirit we love you we need your power we need you holy spirit thank you lord thank you holy spirit come come now let us sing this hymn this is your house and invite the holy spirit now let us worship our god our father jesus holy spirit holy trinity one god we come before you lord and we adore you 
because you are our god we worship you alone lord you are our master you are the lord of lord and the king of kings we worship you lord we lay our lives down before you now let us worship our lord by singing this hymn father i adore you Thank you Jesus. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lindsay, for leading us so beautifully into that praise and worship. Thank you. So, uh, as you know, brothers and sisters, we are still on the uh, reflection on our beatitudes, and uh, this is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, our second last beatitude. So, I hope you've been keeping up with it, and uh, with us today for the beatitude on. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. We have it as a very own dear sister Martha Sinno. Sinno, I always make a mistake. Ah, yeah. So, uh, so we are happy to have her here always. And she's always uh, very helpful and always uh, uh, very um, happy to uh, give us a reflection or a talk or advice or anything that we require. And uh, we're happy to have her here. Thank you. Asita Mata, welcome. So, everyone, kindly concentrate and pay attention. 
Thank you. Thank you, Melanie. Uh, I would invite. Uh, can you can tell me? Can we make a prayer? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can we make a prayer for Sister Martha, everyone? So wherever you are, can you raise your hand? Thank you, everyone. Uh, okay, what I would like to say first is, uh, since you all have taken the series of talks on the Beatitude, uh, I want to say that you are not just followers of Jesus, but you all are his disciples. And it's not easy to follow the Beatitudes. Uh, at sometimes it is quite tough to follow and to act on these beatitudes. And so we go. Today's beatitude from Matthew 5, verse 9, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Now we will take the word peace and peacemakers. If we look at the uh, meaning, the dictionary meaning of peace, it says freedom from war or ending of war, freedom from noise or anxiety or a quietness, rest, one. Now, the Greek word for peace is Eirene, E-I-R-E-N-E. -E. And this word expresses the idea of wholeness, completeness, or tranquility in the soul that is unaffected by the outward circumstances or pressures. I'll repeat it again. Eirin is the Greek word for peace, which expresses the idea of wholeness, completeness, or tranquility in the soul that is unaffected by the outward circumstances or pressures. I'll give you an example here. You take a tree, okay? Um, a tree, maybe like a coconut tree. And when there is a storm, the tree will shake and sway from side to side. The leaves may be uh, shaking. Some of the coconuts may fall, especially if it is a cyclone type of a storm. And sometimes if the wind is too strong, the tree may fall down if the roots are not strong enough. Now take another example of a tree with a very big trunk and the cyclone waves may come or the wind may blow, anything may come but that tree will remain standing as it is. And this is how we are if we are at peace. Nothing can shake us. Now, the Hebrew word for peace is shalom. And this meaning is the state of harmony that is available to all believers through having a right relationship with God and others, and is especially associated with the presence of the Holy Spirit. And so we see that having the Holy Spirit with us is very important 
if we are to have peace within us i'm sure at some point or the other in our lives we have faced big life decisions maybe uh, struggling times where we had to wait maybe test results from a doctor's visit or maybe death of a loved one or maybe there is someone in our family a member who is sick in hospital fighting the corona virus or maybe someone who has a terminal illness or a sickness what is our state how are we in these circumstances and so we find that a peaceful mindset can help you find the strength and comfort you need to combat any and all uncertainty and restlessness another example i can give you is of the sea if you go to the beach you will find the waves coming towards you and sometimes the sea is rough but if you look ahead far out you will see that the sea is calm it is at peace maybe just a ripple on the top on the surface but we also know that there may be undercurrent underneath but yet on the top it looks very peaceful and so this is the attitude of a peaceful person the outward and the inward also we should be at peace and so we take a first reading from colossians chapter 3 verse 15 let the peace of christ rule in your heart to which indeed you were called in the one body and be thankful from another bible the same word may the peace of christ overflow in your heart for to this end you were called to be one body and be thankful and so here it says let the peace of christ rule in your hearts and so this peace should be the first thing that you have within you not just rule it should overflow from your heart and why so that you are called to being this one body i'm sure all of you all try to be of one mind and one body as a member of the group this youth group the north co youth group and be thankful and so we should not forget to be thankful at all times now we can have this peace because we know that our god is a god of peace and we find this in so many verses everywhere saint paul when he writes to the hebrews or the thessalonians he would say i pray that the god of peace or may the peace may the god of peace make you holy and bring you to perfection sometimes saint paul would say now may the lord of peace give you his peace at all times in every way and so we know that our god is a god of peace and who else can we learn to be peaceful at all times then from our god a spiritually minded person 
is at peace. We read from Romans 8 verse 6. To set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. Or flesh tends towards death while the spirit aims at life and peace. Once again, flesh tends towards death while the spirit aims at life and peace. And so we see that sin and peace are incompatible. They do not go together. If you want peace, you cannot have sin. You should do away with sin. And so if we want peace in our lives, we need to do away with sin. We need to forgive and we need to come closer to God. We will have peace only when we live by the Spirit and crucify our sinful desires. These sinful desires sometimes corrupt our minds, our bodies, our thoughts, our deeds. And so we need to change the way we think and focus our thoughts on who God is instead of our problems. Many a times when problems come or situations which we can't handle come our way, we tend to focus on the problem and we forget that our God is there. He is just waiting for us to look to him, to talk to him, to ask him for help. And so let us learn to do this. Peace is what the Lord gives. In Philippians 4, verse 7, we read, Then the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ. And so this peace of God, it cannot be understood by our minds because our minds are so small. You know, we see many a times we just get angry, impatient very easily. The only remedy for this is I to get angry. It's not that only you get angry. No, all of us do. I get angry too at some time. And the only remedy for this is to spend more time with Jesus in prayer. And only when we spend time with Jesus in prayer can we become more peaceful, more calm, that anger may go away from us. 14, verse 27. Jesus says, Peace I live with you, my peace I give you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. And so this peace which Jesus gives us is not like how the world gives. You know, we, when, when we find that we are stressed out, we try to get peace from other ways and means. Maybe uh, we may take a tablet and go to sleep. And uh, that gives us peace for some time. Or maybe we can uh, take a drink if, if, uh, if we want to. Just to forget our worries and troubles. Or something is worrying us too much and we do not know what to do. But here Jesus says, this peace that I give you is not as the world gives. Now this peace of Jesus does not mean that you will never have war, warfare, or you will be free from all tension. No. 
in spite of your problems jesus will give this peace this jesus will give this inner reality which cannot be disturbed by any of the sufferings of this world and you will see this sometimes a loved one is sick or uh, a loved one passes away and you will see how jesus comforts you at this time deep down he gives you this peace you are you you accept this situation in your life you know when when uh, when we take a decision sometimes a very important decision in life we may write down the positive side and the negative points the positive and the negative we write it down and we sit and pray and we ask the lord lord tell me what to do tell me what i should choose which is the right choice and you make your choice and when your heart is still disturbed by the choice that you have made you know that this choice is not right but when you make a choice that god wants for you even though that choice or the decision that you have made is going to be difficult for you yet you have this deep peace within you and nothing can shake this peace nothing can take it away and this is the kind of peace that jesus talks about when we go to sufferings in this world and he fills us with this peace and so let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid jesus is described as the prince of peace who brings peace to the hearts of all those who desire it and remember that jesus has promised the peace as his special farewell gift to you and to me peace in the midst of tribulation in john 16 verse 33 it says i have told you all this so that in me you may have peace in the world you have tribulation or suffering but take courage or be of good cheer i have overcome the world and so we need not worry about what is happening in the world what is happening to us because jesus says you may have tribulation you may have suffering but this peace i give to you god never promised us a world without trouble every day every week every month there may be a new problem which crops up jesus does not say i don't want you to have any problems in your life he says through these problems i want to give you my peace come come to me sit with me get all your strength from me because we have the lord in our life we can have unexplainable peace in difficult circumstances and i'm sure all of us have experienced this there may have been times when we felt we could not go on but because we have jesus in our life we can take the next step we can move forward in our life peace this peace that surpasses all understanding peace that doesn't make sense 
when looking at our circumstances many years back my sister had met with an accident and um, she was in icu and given 24 hours to live and i remember at that time my brother my mom my dad we sat down and prayed and we said lord you have given us her as a gift to us as a daughter a sister for 25 years and lord if you want to take her away now you can do so it was not easy to surrender her to god because she was young and we wanted her she was a loved one it was difficult to accept that god wanted to take her to himself and yet we surrendered her to god and and told him if you want you take her if you give her back to us we promise that we will take care of her and that night when we surrendered her to god we were at peace knowing that god could do what he wanted of course he gave her back to us and she is fit and fine today and we can only give glory to god we are called to live in peace in 2 corinthians chapter 13 verse 11 it says brethren be happy strive to be perfect heed my appeal be of one mind agree with one another and live in peace and the god of love and peace will be with you and so what does it say here strive to be perfect be of one mind agree with one another and this is what a peacemaker is called to do be of one mind even if you don't agree with what the other person is saying learn to agree see what is the best choice what is the best decision and then i know that the father loves me then i can accept myself as i am also i can accept all those persons god sends into my life you know it is so important to accept that the father loves me just the way i am he has created me unique and special if i cannot accept that the father that god the father loves me just as i am how can i love the other person he loves you whether you are thin or fat whether you have thick hair or fine hair whether you are blind or deaf whether you are tall or short whether you are dark or fair whatever you are however you are whatever your qualities whatever your talents god loves you and through this knowing that god loves me knowing that god loves you we have the courage to love the other person sometimes i know it is very difficult to love someone who hurts you who day in and day out troubles you you know there was <laughs> 
who used to um, be a real pain in the neck and uh, she would trouble me no end and i would say lord why are you giving me like you know uh, her close to me can't you take her away and the message that came was i love her the same way as i love you there's no difference when the rain falls the rain falls on her as well as on you when the sun shines the sh- the sun shines on her as well as on you in equal measure the sun does not shine on you more than her and so i learned to accept everyone who came in my life as a gift from god to me learning to love them and accept them we read from matthew 5 9 blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called sons of god and romans 12 verse 18 do your best to live to live at peace with everyone in hebrews we read strive for peace with all and strive to be holy for without holiness no one will see the lord many a times you know we are not peacemakers say if our colleagues are fighting or our friends are fighting do we say come on fight more and pour more more fuel or add more fuel to the fire and say yes come on she said this come on she said that many a times we talk about others we gossip about them it is wrong yes we are called to be peacemakers instead of fighting can we bring about peace in any difficult situation wherever we are whether at home whether in our family whether among friends whether at work in school at college wherever you are placed wherever you are in whichever situation can we learn to be peacemakers and we cannot be peacemakers until we have the peace within us and so let us learn spend more time with god come closer to him grow in holiness and only then can we ourselves be filled with peace and then share this peace with others the holy spirit gives us peace in our relationships this is one of the works of the holy spirit it is to unify us yes the holy spirit helps you to get along with others but sometimes it requires hard work isn't it yes it requires hard work and so in ephesians 4 verse 3 it says make every effort to preserve the unity which has the spirit as its origin and peace as its binding force and so as this peace reigns in our heart our peaceful radiance will draw others into that bond of peace i can experience this jesus when i go to pray spend more time with him and this peace and joy will fill my heart and my mind and only when i allow this peace and joy of jesus 
to radiate to me will i be able to touch others this peace that they see in me will be a comfort to them in james 5 verse 20 it says remember this the person who brings a sinner back from his way will save his soul from death and cancel a multitude of sin and so we are called to bring sinners back to god to save their souls we are called to evangelize but we can do this only if we follow not just follow jesus but be disciples of him and we can be disciples by following the be attitudes that he teaches us and so we shall be called blessed Mary was called blessed by the angel who came to visit her and here it says blessed are the peacemakers yes we will be called blessed or we are blessed when we are peacemakers when we give this peace to others when we bring about a peace wherever we are and children of the most high god imagine we will be called children of this god this father of ours who is high and mighty who is the creator of our universe maybe he will say to us like how he said to jesus this is my beloved son and so let us close our eyes be quiet for a moment and see in what way right now in our life we can bring about peace whether at home in our families at work in school in college am i really full of this peace that only jesus can give if not can i go to jesus sit in prayer with him and ask of him to fill us to fill me with his peace and so let us pray loving jesus we are sorry for many times we have not been peacemakers lord instead lord we have brought about discord and fighting loving jesus we ask you to fill us with your holy spirit fill us with the spirit this fruit of the spirit which is peace and loving jesus we can only be filled with the spirit of peace when we come to you and spend time with you <laughs> listening to you learning from you and loving jesus we want this desire to come to you lord we ask of you lord bring us to you hold us by the hand lord take us closer to you and fill us lord yes lord we want to be your disciples lord not just your followers we want 
to act on this beatitude lord and during this whole week lord we want to learn to be peacemakers and this peace that you fill us with lord we want to share with all those around us thank you jesus glory be to the father son holy spirit amen so mata thank you very much for explaining to us about how we can be peaceful people how we require ourselves to have peace within us and uh, how when we have peace within us we can also give away this peace to others thank you for breaking up the topic so well for us because sometimes we only take we only understand this one part of the topic that we need to go around making peace but thank you for giving us an in depth understanding uh, of how we need first to be peaceful people and thereafter peace will flow from us and yeah thank you so much for that thank you very much thank you yes and once again i want to thank henry also for her praise and worship and i want to make a mention to our channel for the lovely poster <laughs> uh before we move on to our announcements i would like to know if any of you have questions because it was such a lovely topic and this was such, such a lovely reflection and i would like to know if you have any questions you can put it forward to mr mohan one thing i i have taken back from the meeting from the talk is the fact that uh we can be peaceful people and because um, we are flesh we are people who uh, are born of spirit and i mean we have we are earth, earthly people and we are prone to the fact that we get angry we get irritated <laughs> and so sometimes it just happens if you are you having a bad day and then everyone else comes in your way is gone <laughs> so it was such a lesson for me today of course i hear this lesson one doesn't really work sometimes in my case but what i've taken back from it is something that a priest also told me sometimes that is that if we spend time with the source of peace itself we are bound to be more peaceful people so thank you very much for getting that back again for me the minding me through your talk what the priest said that time <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay Yeah, Shonal, Lindsay, Amram, Anna, you have questions. Just one more thing. Yeah, I watched you. I didn't see that you had come. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Hi, Madam. Hi. Uh. it was a good talk actually recently when i was like facing with a lot of uh, stuff in my life but uh, i would not even read the bible actually in the mornings and there was a lot of chaos and all as sister mentioned that uh, you spend your time with the source you get peace so actually it was just two days back that i got back into reading the bible and all and it the peace uh, you could feel like i could personally feel a lot of peace it's like the word of god itself is peace like uh, jesus himself is called you no know, uh, the prince of peace and so that's one thing like i get to meet god or have fellowship with god through the word so it's uh, it has helped me a lot this past month <laughs> it was like a storm but it helped me so that's something I I wanted to share like 